And as I said, without without uh, the, the 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 external publicity, without them seeing. I mean, the importance of the fact that you were there is so that you could see and hear the arguments that was uh, I was trying to present and then what the judge responded in relation to those arguments. Now, fundamentally, he has chosen to skip over the fact that a hearing, a previous hearing, uh, which should have taken place, took place without the person who was to be heard being there. And he skipped over that as it's as though it's of some uh, irrelevance. Now he claimed that the reason why that might have happened is because I accepted all the elements of the charge uh, which was brought against me, which is totally untrue. Yeah, you know, this was the act for which I was committed. It wasn't denied in that sense. However, it was it was um, put in this way that I only acted that way because I've been denied all previous lawful means of getting into court. So therefore I was attempting to justify my action. Now the, the law itself says that when a person can justify their action for uh, breaking the law, then the law excuses them. As long as, a, for instance, we know that recently the uh, Crispian, sorry, the new uh, Justice Secretary has now made it absolutely clear when a householder can, if you like, batter a burglar for entering their home without, without invitation. So in that instance, the householder who had just battered a burglar would not be saying, I didn't do it. They would be saying, I did it because of. So in the same way, uh, so as a result, you can't say that a person um, uh, accepted the full elements of the crime, etc., 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 because they offer a reason why self-defense necessity. All these are actions where you're not going into court and saying, I didn't do it. You're saying, yes, it happened as a result of this. I was under attack. So, so the, the reasons I gave for my action um, was that I had previously tried every other lawful means of getting into court, and as a result of having the doors slammed in my face, I felt I was left with, with, with no option but to do something so brave, um, well, importation of cannabis, that would get me before 12 ordinary members of the public so that I could say exactly why I did this. It was up to the jury to decide if my action was justified. But that... Uh, did you have a jury I did, did, yes. Okay. But the judge took away from the jury the, the, their right to decide for themselves because he told them there is no defense of justification in English law, which was a total misdirection. Absolutely, because even on that uh, uh, ground alone, it was ground for an appeal. Um, and also, did he say to the jury, I don't know what happened to No, them, absolutely. Did he say you only have to, to make your judgment on the fact before you? Well, you don't have to consider any of the anterior circumstances uh, or... Uh, I think he did. As a matter of fact, he, he went as far as to say, look, for the reasons he has put forward, he seeks an acquittal. Because if he's right, no court or jury can stop him or convict him of anything. Now, what I was trying to present in there was the very same issues that I presented before the jury. For instance, part of my complaint was about a Mr. Justice Toulson who presided over a matter being prosecuted by his brother or his brother's law firm. Well, that's biased, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and, and from those proceedings, for which I was not present, I had no legal uh, representation, Justice Toulson issued a warrant for me to be picked up off the street and brought straight to prison yeah. without charge, without trial, yeah. without ever coming through a court of law. Now, again, uh, the judge said to the jury, if that was true, 
then no court or jury could stop me or convict me of anything. I present it. The evidence is there, the documentation confirming that that judge, Mr. Justice Shulton, did that, is there in, in writing. Another thing, I, I, I talked about uh, approaching several MPs and, and even up to Buckingham Palace and receiving a letter back from Buckingham Palace written on behalf of the Queen saying Her Majesty was sorry to hear about the sad death of your son and sends her sympathies. Unfortunately she cannot intervene directly, however she is instructed that your complaint be passed to the head of the judiciary at the time, Lord Irvine. That is documented. It's fact. Yeah? So, so this judge, remember, has said, if that is true, if these things have happened and I have not had any redress and, 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 and that was the cause of my action, then no court or jury can stop me or convict me for anything. Until, of course, there is redress. And if I just digress a little, in fact, this right is not only confounded in the Human Rights Act under Article 7, it's there in Article 61 of the uh, Magna Carta of 1215, uh, which states that the where, where, the, where the Crown, if you like, has violated a right of an individual, the community can come together and do whatever they want, it says. Yeah? And, and it, it says you can seize our castles. The only thing it says you must not do is harm our persons. And then it says, after we have rectified the situation, you must agree to return to obeying the law. So in other words, it gives the right to disobey the law when your rights have been violated. And I said, that's from 1215, but it's founded now in the recent Human Rights Act uh, 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 under Article 7, which guarantees no punishment without law. If the law fails to protect you, it cannot at the same time seek to punish you for your actions. And we know it's unlawful for public authorities to act in any way which violates the law. That's written in law, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, exactly. And, and, and there are, the judiciary is a public authority. How, much, how much is this um, interpretation, this latter-day interpretation of Article 6, that uh, the right to be heard, to get a fair hearing, actually mean a hearing on paper well, Why is that, is that spread very widely by law? I, I don't, I think, I think, if I was not at liberty, if I was not at liberty, I would not have been able to, I would not have got this hearing today. Yeah. It's only because um, I'm at liberty and I'm able, they, are, they were unable to prevent me coming into court and having this oral hearing. Yeah. Article 6 guarantees it and it's fundamental. There, there may be times when I think for a proceeding to take place in court, on paper or, or, or without any the, 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 the applicant being present, then they must have some form of legal representation. The, 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 um, the right to be heard doesn't just mean about you know you being heard. It means you also you being present to hear what's yeah. being said yeah, about right. you. That's yeah, right. I would say that's implicit in the words. Absolutely. Absolutely. He Absolutely. claimed that an oral hearing was not necessary. Uh, that's yeah. what he said. Not because guaranteed. he had a hearing on paper, so that was enough. Right, and, and so you can judge for yourself. Is that right? But it's, it's not, not because it's not right simply because a judge said, said it's right. He's, he said that in order to protect their position. Now, he, the reason for what he uses to justify that is that he claimed that I accepted every element of the charge, which is total nonsense. You wouldn't have appealed, would you? Precisely. Now, now again, he relied on what the, those judges said in the application for which I was not present. So I wasn't able to, to, to say what my grounds are. They uh, interpreted whatever they cho chose to, 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 to write down and regard as my grounds of appeal. That's they the rubber stamping that they do from judge to judge. Pre precisely. Yeah, I mean, they work in this linear way. There's no sort of holistic or Preci holographic, precise, if you like, precisely. appreciation of an issue before them. Precisely. And you I don't look to, to why you're there in the first place or what might have happened along the route, which hasn't been 
properly heard by the previous judge. Pr 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 I mean, yeah. that's what they ought to do, yes, because this is what appeals are about. Yeah. So that if, if the previous judge got something wrong, you're there to put it right. But again, as I say, the difficulty in this case is because the, those complained of, the complaints are against the judiciary. Now, yeah, again, yeah. the law gives them... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so yeah. it comes with no surprise that they should behave in this way. The, the, the thing for us but is... You've got in your case some serious violations of, of their code of professional standards. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and let me, let me just... And let, absolutely. And let me reiterate that part of the implication. I said to you that this case could have benefit to others. As a matter of fact, when prison officers heard of the issues involved in this case, what their response would be was, if you're successful, then I'm out of a job. Because the truth is, and it's a realistic truth, that if the, this case was out there in the media today, this whole system collapses. And every single person in prison, guilty or innocent, would be able to secure their release out. I think as a result of um, media exploding certain things and, 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 and making it making the general public to become outrageous as oh someone's exercising that right of law and so on and so forth so that these people now are just riding roughshod over justice if you like so that as you mentioned these things aren't taken into consideration once upon a time to be guilty of a crime they had to be as you say the mens rea the intent what the what was the intention what was the motivation right, the difference between murder and manslaughter precisely precisely i think that's probably about the only element of mens rea that they look at to, 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 today because those cases always get um uh, publicity but one i'd just like to say look you know justice i believe is in the hands of the people and it's it's difficult to expect without the sunshine if you like of publicity it's difficult to expect to come into these establishments yeah. as they have demonstrated yeah. time and time again to get justice without there being uh, uh, something out there in, in the public yeah. and uh, this morning I had hoped that there were enough people here so that we could occupy that um, lawfully well, let's be realistic oh, it was about half our it's a different yes, agenda yes, yes, Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. don't it's, worry if you mm -hmm. go on you know we'll back here Oh. Right, right. Oh, uh, no, I, no, I'm, no, I'm not having no criticism of anyone because it was all short notice and and so on and so forth. I, I think I was just emphasising the point that you know it's rather than relying on um, them in there, they they give in to pressure, and when we use uh, our um, our lawful right in terms of protest and demonstrations, use the law ourselves effectively outside of these uh, buildings that is when uh, we might hope to gain some 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 form of justice I mean look you know we've all been struggling for justice for several years now and we see and we should be encouraged by the outcome of the Hillsborough uh, tragedy and the determination of those families the perseverance despite everything being against them including the media including MPs including all branches of the media um, they, they see that today they've exposed at least exposed the truth Carl I've got this burning question from what I saw happening there was he um, threatening you that if you came back with another Amos Corpus you'd be victim you'd be victimized yeah, yeah he, he, that's he, exactly what he said yes, isn't it yes, really yes, yes, he yes. said okay. he put it on record yeah. To show that, that was a threat yeah, to victimise you uh, if you uh, use your uh, right yeah. to use it. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Do you know what they do to stop people trying to enforce and insist on their rights being enforced um, is to call them lit li lit well, lit litigious, 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 litigious,
them seeing people, whether it be marching down the road or but exercising their rights in other ways, other than coming to them, yeah. they will repeat this time and time and time yeah. again. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I guess, as I said, that's part of what we need to do in all our cases. And I think there, there are too many victims, as I was saying to Sabine, this can be, this type of struggle can be so draining and without each other. Oh, Michael. Hey, Michael's oh, there's a child. Oh, oh. Right. Hello, Michael. I missed everything. Yes. Uh, yeah, just about. Have you finished supper? Oh, oh, we, we, we were in court for um, we were in court for a few minutes. I mean, I guess you'd be able to. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? These two smart gentlemen fighting <laughs> <laughs> injustices oh, in the country. Yes. We. I like that.